Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays. Season's greetings. Ah, uh, bah humbug. This is too many phrases. My name is Caitlin. I'm your teacher here at Learn English on the Internet. Let's learn how to talk about Christmas in English. Let's go. During the Christmas season, we still say hello and goodbye, but we might add another greeting to those phrases. The most common is Merry Christmas. Some people, though, choose to say Happy Christmas instead. Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas, they mean the same thing. Because not everybody celebrates Christmas and there are other holidays that happen in the same period of time, some people choose to say the phrase Happy Holidays, which addresses all of these different holidays and not just Christmas. Season's greetings is another Christmas phrase, but it's not one that we really say out loud. We usually only read it on a Hallmark greetings card. Let's look at 10 words and phrases having to do with Christmas. Our first word is carol or Christmas carol. Carol or Christmas carol is a noun, but the word carol can also be used as a verb. For example, the children sang Christmas carols as they went caroling around the neighborhood. A carol is a song about Christmas and it usually has themes of joy and goodwill. Sometimes it talks about Santa Claus or even the birth of Jesus. Our second vocabulary word today is mistletoe. Mistletoe is a noun and it's a type of plant that is hung usually over a doorway. And when people meet under the mistletoe, that means they have to kiss. Example sentence, at the Christmas party, they met under the mistletoe and shared a sweet kiss. Christmas word number three is ornament. Ornament is a noun. An ornament is a decoration, usually in the shape of a ball, that is used to decorate the Christmas tree. Example sentence, the children get excited every year to decorate the Christmas tree with lots of colorful ornaments. Christmas word number four is Santa Claus. Do you know Santa Claus? Santa Claus is a big, fat, jolly man who brings presents in a sack. Normally, he comes down the chimney after he arrives on your roof in his sleigh, which is pulled by his reindeer. Traditionally, before Christmas, children go and visit Santa Claus and they sit on his lap and they tell him what they want to get for their Christmas presents this year. Example sentence. Children have to go to sleep early on Christmas Eve so that Santa Claus can come and deliver their presents. Christmas word number five is eggnog. I love to drink eggnog. Have you ever tried it? Eggnog is a noun and it's a drink made from eggs, milk, and sugar, and sometimes some alcohol. Example sentence. A glass of eggnog is the perfect way to finish off a Christmas day. Christmas word number six is gingerbread. Gingerbread is a noun and it can be a type of cookie or a type of cake that is made out of ginger and is a little bit spicy. Commonly, people shape gingerbread cookies into the shape of a little man who's called the gingerbread man or they shape them into houses, which are called gingerbread houses and can be decorated with icing, sprinkles, jelly beans, all sorts of fun candy. Example sentence, every year at Christmas time, me and my family decorate gingerbread houses. Christmas word number seven is stockings. Stockings is a noun and it is a very large sock, which we hang over the fireplace or in another place in your home if you don't have a fireplace. And that is where Santa Claus puts some of his presents when he comes on Christmas night. Example sentence, the last thing we do before we go to sleep on Christmas Eve is hang up our stockings. Christmas word number eight is wreath. A wreath 
is a decoration that we hang on our door around Christmas time. It's usually green and made from branches of the evergreen tree, but really you can make a wreath from whatever you like. Example sentence, my neighbors have a beautiful wreath hanging on their door this year. Christmas vocab word number nine is Christmas Eve. You've already heard me use this phrase several times throughout this video. Christmas Eve is the night before Christmas, or December 24th. And our last Christmas vocab word is Christmas Day. Every year Christmas Day falls on December 25th. It's very common for many families to have traditions of what they like to do together on Christmas Day. I'd love to hear more about your traditions on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because they vary so much across countries and cultures and I love to learn about where you're from. So let me know and thank you so much for joining me today to learn English on the internet. Goodbye!